Hey there, I'm Mikey G with a free art lesson for you on looking at synthetic brushes versus natural hair brushes when painting in watercolor. Both have their features and benefits. They both have their advantages and they both have their drawbacks. There's one thing I want to highlight though when it comes to a major advantage of using natural hair versus synthetic and that is water absorbency. Any synthetic hair brush is going to be made of a plastic. Plastic in its very nature is water repellent. Take anything that we use, you know, we use it for, whether it's, you know, going to be a poncho, this bucket. If it was water absorbent, it would be, you know, buckling out to here. But because it's water repellent, it stays in shape. Now, the same plastic is being used to make this brush. It's repelling the water, so it won't hold as much as a natural hair brush. Now, I'm not trying to put the brush down. It still can give you some great control. It can give you a very good point and give you some, you know, good dynamics and whatnot. That's, that's totally fine. But if you're looking for a brush that will hold a lot more water, have more of a, a, a belly, as, uh, as what it's called. You can look at this brush here. This is a Harmony Squirrel Quill. It's a soft hair brush, natural squirrel hair. It absorbs the water. Whenever you get out of the shower, you might notice that your hair is a little bit heavier than when you went in. That's because it's holding that water. And it will give you a lot more covering power as well. So you can still get some control in terms of a point and um, you know different stroke techniques, but it will also give you tons and tons of color and coverage, which is, you know, a great advantage if you're trying to do wash techniques, uh, trying to do, you know, skies or, you know, anything that is on your mind. So that's, that's going to be one of the, the big features when it comes to using a natural hairbrush versus synthetic. Um, so anyway, again, this is, a, uh, this is a Harmony Squirrel Quill that I'm using here to demonstrate, but any natural hairbrush, whether it's um, uh, Kalinsky Sable for watercolor, uh, you know, squirrel, any of these things will give you more absorbency than its synthetic counterpart. So keep that in mind when uh, selecting your brushes and think about how these can help you in your art and different techniques that you can use knowing that you have more water or, well, maybe you want less water. We'll see you next time. <laughs>